I just started using the Libre 3 CGM to manage my diabetes. Here's what I think about it so far. I used the 14 day and the Libre 2 for several years before switching to the Libre 3 last week. It's much smaller, significantly smaller, but it's also single step. In the Libre 2 and the Libre 14 day, you had to do one other step to set up the sensor before pushing it into your skin. So this is that much easier. So I do have one complaint though. While I was on a jog this morning, the Libre 3 sensor suddenly said sensor error and it never recovered. It totally just stopped working. Oh, speaking of exercise and blood sugars, I wrote a book that teaches you how to manage your blood sugars while you're exercising, how to prevent highs and lows. There's a link for this book in the details on this video. I don't think it had anything to do with really jogging, you know, like jogging shouldn't throw off a sensor, but that sensor did fail on me. So that's why I have to do a new one today. And that's it, that's all you do. Push it into your skin and it applies it for you. It goes in with a needle, but the needle comes out automatically and it leaves a sensor. You're in luck. I saved the sensor that just failed on me yesterday, if you can see that. This whole thing is about the size of a nickel. I did call Libre support. I'll tell you one thing Abbott is really good at. They're really good at replacing bad sensors. So if you have a sensor that stops working at any point within that 14 day period, definitely call and get Get a free replacement because these things are not cheap. I always add an overlay patch just to protect it because otherwise I am gonna rip it off when I'm getting dressed or even when I just like walk by a door frame, I just catch my CGM sensors on things. I don't love having to wear overlay patches, but it does help me keep the darn thing on. And they usually have a non-sticky center so that you can switch them out halfway through that two week period. Then you just go through the steps on your Libre 3 app, scan it with your phone to start a new sensor. It takes an hour to warm up and then starts giving you data. One thing I have noticed, the difference between the Libre 2, the Libre 14 day, and then the three, is that the sensor leaves a kind of a deeper wound when you remove it. There's like more of a scar there, more of a hole that needs to heal. So when they upgraded their technology and they made this smaller sensor, for some reason the actual wire part itself is a little bigger. Is it a huge deal? Does it make me not wanna use it? No, I'm still gonna use it, but it's noticeable. So here's what I really like about it. The alarms are way gentler and they don't trigger my anxiety like the Libre 2. When you go into the settings on the Libre 3 app, you can choose alarms for lows, highs, and urgent lows. They have a standard and a custom. One of them is like, nah, nah, nah. terrible. I never wanna hear that sound. The other one is like kind of a soft ding. And that one, I can hear it and it doesn't trigger the anxiety that I had from listening to CGM alarms over and over when I was pregnant and trying to manage really tight blood sugar levels. That was six years ago. I have been avoiding CGM alarms for six years because I just, ugh, it just triggers too much anxiety for me. But I was missing a lot of opportunities to intervene and catch lows or highs sooner because there were no alarms in the 14 day. I really do appreciate the alarms in the Libre 3. They're gentle, I can turn them off. You can't turn off the super low alarm, the one that goes below 55. That's okay, I would like to be alerted when my blood sugar goes below 55. I also appreciate that with the Libre, of any type of Libre CGM, you can get the sensors at your pharmacy. You don't have to go through a diabetes medical equipment supplier. With insurance, the Libre 3 costs me about $35 per sensor. So you use two a month, which means that costs, you know, about 70 bucks a month. If you don't have insurance, Abbott usually has a patient support program where you just go on their website, fill out a thing, and you get this savings coupon that ends up making the Libre 3 sensors cost you $35 per sensor. I used to have to do that when I didn't have insurance and it works. Overall, I'm really glad I started using the Libre 3 and I started letting a CGM alert me again. If you wanna try something new, if you've never used a CGM or you're already using a different type of CGM, I personally am really appreciating the way the Libre 3 works, except for that one that died yesterday for no reason. But hey, it's technology that happens and they're sending me a replacement. The biggest benefit of using a CGM is all about time and range. Get tips on improving your time and range right here.